ladies and gentlemen, Jenna has gone to prison. She is officially there. And even in the reports, they said she's going to be in for a serious reality check. Now, I know some of y'all were saying you think she's going to get special treatment. I don't. Because among the COs in this country, there is a worker shortage, and there's certainly one in Texas. Being that they're shorthanded among COs, I just don't see them going out of their way to cater to her. But she gonna be in for a rude awakening because her reality of what she got in her head about what prison is is ooh, it's scary it is nothing like she thinks so i'm gonna go ahead and play this audio to this raw story article mhea writer jenna ryan has reported to prison and she could be in for a reality check mhea writer jenna ryan has reported to prison and she could be in for a reality check Infamous Capital writer Jenna Ryan, the Texas real estate agent who once said she wouldn't serve time in prison because she's white and blonde, reportedly has begun her 60-day sentence. The 51-year-old Ryan, who was sentenced last month for her role in the January 6th insurrection, was initially scheduled to report to prison in January. However, the Dallas Observer reported Tuesday that Ryan checked into the Bryant Federal Prison Camp in Texas before Christmas. Daniel Wise, a Florida-based prison consultant, said he believes Ryan who recently announced a book deal, may have strategically surrendered early, the Observer reported. I have to imagine that there was a motive behind this, and your motive probably is, you want to go in there, now you can write in your book what it was like to be in prison for Christmas, Wise said on his YouTube channel. I mean, I think people are going to see right through the smokescreen. I don't think you're going to get a lot of sympathy. Read more, Proud Boys fail to convince judge that their MAGA writing is protected by free speech rights. Another prison consultant, Polly Coleman, said Ryan recently contacted her to ask whether she could choose to be housed in solitary confinement due to concerns that she might get hit with a lock and a sock, the Observer reported. But Ryan eventually decided that she'd do just fine in the general population, claiming that she knows how to make friends with anyone, Coleman said. Ryan goes, I grew up in the streets, she said, laughing, according to the Observer. Regardless, Ryan has big plans for her time in prison. In videos posted to her TikTok account, she claimed to look forward to doing lots of yoga. She also said it would be worth going to prison if she manages to lose 30 pounds thanks to a new workout regimen and diet, free from alcohol and junk food. One YouTuber who appeared on Wise's channel, Dr. 13 said he doesn't think prison officials will appreciate Ryan's TikTok videos. With her doing what she's doing, they're going to look at that and they're going to make her time hard because they're going to give her a reality check, Dr. 13 said. And she's not going to lose weight. She's going to probably gain weight because of how they cook everything in there with starches and all that. I don't think she realizes what she's about to walk into. Read the full story. In other news, reporter reveals the moment Peter Navarro realized. Yeah, you know, one thing they said, you know, how, remember, she made very light of going to prison and she's going to get energy bars and um, protein shakes and all that stuff. And they're not going to give her that in prison. And I do agree with them when they said she's more than likely leave prison fatter because the food is very starchy, you know, and they generally don't care what they serve. Jenna is not going to get a menu to sit down and choose what she wants. Whatever all inmates get, she will get. They're not going to give her no special shakes. And they certainly are not going to take inmates and pick one to do her shakes and energy bar. That's not going to happen. You know, and I'm reading the prison that she's going to. They will absolutely not cater to her at all. And, you know, and I definitely don't agree that she should have a book deal. I don't believe anybody that tried to overthrow an election should get a book deal. You know, but see, in America, you can get that. Of course, they'll never see nothing wrong with it, but no. I mean, if that's the case, let everybody that's been to jail get a book deal. Let them all get book deals. Don't be picky and choosy about who gets one. So she has begun, and like they said, she started before Christmas just so for her little book, 
that I doubt any of us will read. She can talk about what it's like to be in prison during the holidays as if that's really not important. But y'all, please tell me what you think about this whole thing. She going into jail early over a book deal that she has. And um, she only got 60 days, which means by February, she'll be out of there. She'll be out of there, (laughs) y'all. You know, this is just ridiculous. You know, you can overthrow, attempt to overthrow an election, and you just get all these air light sentences, these people being on house arrest for a few months and all this is just the biggest joke going you know damn well if this was a mob of black people up there doing the same thing they would have found every cop in that area to come out there and shoot people this is just ridiculous but it shows you what this country really truly is so ladies and gentlemen y'all Just tell me what you think about this laughable thing that's going on. You know, she breaks the law and now she's getting a book deal of all things. You know, so please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.